Okay, so now that we've got, uh, again, I'm going to turn the light on. And I'll go adjust for that. So now that we've got our coordinates all worked out uh, on our graph paper, we can come back and we can fill out our G code program. And in this particular case here, what we're doing is we're coming in rapid to. An X, the first X and Y location. Well, um, we noticed right here that the first X and Y location is minus 0.35 and minus 0.25. So we can just put those numbers right in up here. So we can do minus 0.35 minus 0.25. Okay? Now, <clears throat> we're at that location and, um, or at least we, we're at, at, lo, at that location, but we're above the work. And in this line of code here, what we're doing is coming down to the proper location with the tool. In other words, we're feeding down into the work and getting ready to cut. We're at this location, and then we're going to go down so that we, um, down with the tool so that we can uh, start cutting. Uh, the instructions uh, in the assignment called for a depth of 0.375. Well, um, since the top of the material is at, point, uh, is at point 0, in other words, if we look at the top of the material and we want to cut down 0.375, that means on the z-axis we're going in the negative direction. So this number would be a negative point three seven five so that gets us down three hundred seventy five thousandths uh, that look, doesn't look like a seven that gets us down three hundred seventy five thousandths from the top of the the material and three hundred seventy five thousandths down into the work okay now the next part of this says uh, feed into the left side of the part programming from the center of the tool so that corresponds with the location of uh, point number two. And we decided that was minus 0.25 on the X and minus 0.25 on the Y. So um, we're actually not feeding up or down. We're only moving in the X direction. So we're only going to worry about the X coordinate. So in this spot right here, we're going to give our X coordinate as minus 0 0.25. That'll accomplish that move from this point to this point. Just a very a small move of a hundred thousandths from left to right. Okay. Once we're lined up at this point, now we're ready to go up to point number three. As you can see, we haven't moved to the left or the right because there's no need to. We're lined up correctly once we get to point number two. The only thing that we're going to do is move in the y-axis at that point up to point number three. Um, since the only thing that's changing is the y-axis, we only need to worry about the y-coordinate, which is 3.5. So point number three here is at a y-coordinate of 3.5, and that's where we want to feed to in our GO1 command. So we'll just stick um, 3.5 into this location. From here on out, it's really just a matter of uh, putting the correct coordinate locations in. Um, we know our next move is a GO2, so we'll put 2 here. And um, we're going to use the X and Y and R. We're not going to use the I and J. Um, so X and Y uh, for the end point of our GO2 move is going to be point number four. The X and Y would be X of 0.5, Y of 4.25. So I'll stick those in this location now. 0.5, Y, 4.25. Now we're not going to use um, we're not going to use I and J in this particular case. We'll cover that later. We're going to use R instead. 
Uh, so what it's asking for is the radius of your curve. Well, we know that the radius of the finished part, uh, radius of this edge on the finished part, is half an inch. See, there's two quarter inch blocks. But we're actually, in both cases here, we're a quarter of an inch larger on the radius than the actual part will be. So um, the radius that we'll be cutting on is actually one, two, three blocks, which is 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0.75. So for the radius on this first cut in this R location we'll put 0 0.75. The next move is simply a GO1 straight line over to point number 5. So that answers this question. It needs to be a GO1. And we're not moving, we're not making any changes in our um, y coordinate we're only moving in X we're only moving left and right so we're only going to be concerned with the X coordinate which is 3.5 so we're going to move we're going to do a GO1 over to X of 3.5 and that gets us to this particular location here GO2 around this curve again uh, we'll just end up at this particular location. That's 4.25, 3.5. We, we said that was going to be a GO2. Um, 4.25, 3.5. We're not going to use I. We're not going to use J. And our radius, in this case, our radius is still the 3 quarter inch or 0.75 inches that we used over here. So we're still using the same 3 quarter inch radius. We'll pencil that in here, 0.75. Alright, our next move, just a simple GO1 down to point number 7. We decide the coordinates there were 4.25 and 0.25. In this move from 0.6 to 0.7, we're not moving any in the X direction. We're moving vertically down to a different Y location so we're only going to worry about the Y here of 0.25. So we'll pencil that in 0.25 and again it is a G01 as we've noted right here. Now we have one more move from 7 to 8 Again, we're not changing our um, Y location. We're not moving up or down when we go from 7 to 8. We're only moving from right to left. So when we move from right to left, we're moving in the X axis. The X axis is uh, the X coordinate for point number 8 is just 4. So we'll stick that in uh, here as an X of 4. Okay, now we have to do our GO3 move since it's counterclockwise. So this next will be GO3 and the X and Y coordinate of that point, point number 9, we spell that out here. We have to specify both of those because we've moved in the X and the Y and it'll be 3.75 and 0, 0.0. So 3.75, 0, 0.0. 3.75, 0, 0. All right. And again, we're not using I, we're not using J. But what's the radius in this particular case? Well, all our other curves, or the, the part, has had a radius of a half an inch and the part has a radius of a half an inch here except that it's an inside curve rather than an outside curve and the dimensions of the tool the cutter dictate that we have to make an arc that looks something like this since it's an inside curve well that means that the radius of the cut or the radius of the move the radius of the GO3 move is actually just a quarter of an inch. See this quarter of an inch distance here? 
So for that radius, since it's inside, instead of increasing that half inch radius by a quarter of an inch, we're decreasing the half inch radius by a quarter of an inch, which leaves us at a radius of a quarter of an inch. All right. Now, once we finish that move, we just move in a straight line straight down to point number 10. In this case, we're not moving in the x-axis, we're moving in the y. So the y-coordinate's what we're concerned about, and we're going to come down to negative 0.25. So, it is a straight line move, G01, y to negative 0.25. And that'll get us to point number 10. The only move left at that point is a straight line, G01, to our original point. Um, so we can fill this in. Uh, we're, we're already already have a geo one here and this move is in the x direction to our original point our starting point which was minus 0.35 again the y doesn't matter we're staying at minus 0.25 as we move from here to here so we don't need to specify the change in y we need to specify where we're going to end up on the x-axis which is 0 point, negative 0.35 so we'll pencil that in there, negative 0.35. The remaining moves are just a rapid up to one inch above the surface of the part and turn the coolant off. Here again is a rapid move to Z of zero, except we're specifying machine coordinates, which means that the tool moves to the top of the travel at the turret and then um, we uh, cut the spindle off. Uh, no more rotation of the tool. And at this point, we're sending the machine to home in the Y direction, uh, which bring the uh, part up front toward the operator. M30 means the end. So um, just I hope, uh, hope this helps explain um, the way to take a part like this using GO1s, GO2s, and GO3s and a, a standard Cartesian coordinate system and end up with a simple uh, G-code program that uh, will execute. I can assure you if you put this in this way um, that uh, and get all the um, punctuation correct that it'll work in the machine and we'll do that uh, at the earliest opportunity we have to, to put those in the, uh, the simulators. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, I hope uh, hope this clears up some of the, some of the problems that you've had.